everybody? It's your boy Adrian, CEO of Predator Productions, creative director here at Up Close Studios. And I'm here to talk my flick about my film, Spell, directed by Mark Tundale. This movie is centered around spells. You know, you have hoodoo, voodoo, and for those who don't know, I'm not going to get into far in depth with it, but basically hoodoo is more so, you know, your folk magic, and voodoo is more so on the religion side. It was sauce for the goose. It's sauce for the gander. <laughs> Now, if I was to wake up in some random rural ass house, families missing, getting held hostage, I'd be going crazy. Like literally, that's such a vulnerable feeling. I'm pretty much would be bald. <laughs> so this luscious 26 inches of no nah, hair, you wouldn't see. <laughs> I'd be bald. Wait, what's going on, man? Hey, hey, what? No, no, Whoa. stop that. No, I think this movie is pretty dope. Uh, first and foremost, for the protagonist which is played by Amari Hardwick uh, in the film known as Marquise. Although I know him as a ghost from the Power series on Stars. So throughout this entire review, I'm gonna go ahead and refer to him as a ghost. So you know who I'm talking about. The antagonist in this film was also played by Loretta Devine, phenomenal actress. Um, you've seen her in everything since the 90s, Waiting to Exhale, etc. cetera. But the movies, she plays the antagonist, uh, door, huh? Eloise. Spy your own good. I'm on your side. Loretta Devine did a great job, to me, of giving me that good comedic value, but also that creepy value, and her professionalism of making you really buy into her characters. She's played all kinds of characters, usually the crazy, loud mother in some of the Medea films, and you know, just the soul sister in some of the other movies, but the fact that she's able to give you that sense of, like, what the fuck, but also like, this is dope. At the same time, is what I think really separates her from a lot of different, um, especially black actresses that I've come across in the media Have movies that I've watched. If you had eyes, you'd be able to see. What I thought was dope about this film, because naturally I went in thinking it's going to be okay, another persona from Ghost, um, which wouldn't have been a bad thing, because again, I'm a huge you know, uh, power fan. However, it wasn't. This film really, to my knowledge, was never something that Amari Hardwick has done before, which I thought from his perspective was a good leap to try a different type of genre. I mean, you also see him mostly in these either action type roles or a little more serious on the suit and tie, booted kind of guy. So this is a really good look for him, in my opinion. Farm where we was going. Well, we fixing to find out, ain't we? Lewis, bring that ax. By going the camera shot selections, you know, that Mark used, I thought was pretty dope. A lot of the shots, naturally gave you a sense of uncertainty from the beginning of the movie all the way to the end. This movie, you know, it's kind of like a head scratcher in a sense of, I honestly did not know what was next because to be in the situation that he was in, you know, in that room, post crash, etc. you know, where's my family? There's so many questions and there's so many answers that need to be answered. However, director Tunnelay took his time with really milking it throughout the story to start uncovering those stones and saying, okay, that's why. Not to go too far in depth, but there is a particular line where she speaks of her hoodoo doll, which is known as a boogity, that she mentions how it was constructed, you know, and she goes down the line of all those other things, et cetera, we heard in different movies. Oh yeah, and blood this and blah, blah, blah. And she mentions a pinch of semen. And I'm just like, hold on, wait a minute. So dude was passed out. How'd you get a sperm sample? So you just jacking dudes off while they knocked out? Like, <laughs> that threw me off. Maybe I gotta get knocked out. So if you want something to make you jump a little bit, make you cringe a little bit, chuckle a couple times, this movie for you. Uh, once again, my name's Adrian, signing out, talk your flick.